Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to live stream on YouTube from start to finish. So if you're looking for an all-inclusive tutorial to show you how to get from uh, from not streaming to being able to stream, this is the video for you. So go ahead and log into your YouTube channel that you want to stream from. Now I will say this, the regulations and the requirements to be able to stream on your YouTube channel are constantly changing right now. Uh, they are a thousand subscribers. There may be a watch hour requirement in, in the future as well. So just make sure that you have streaming enabled on your channel to begin with. If you are a brand new channel, this may be something that you don't have until you apply and get approved for maybe the partner program or even uh, requirements below that. But make sure that your channel is enabled to have live streaming before you even watch this video. So log into your YouTube channel, make sure you have live streaming enabled on your channel. And then when you've got all of that figured out, let's go ahead and dive in. You're going to need two different things. All of them are free obviously a YouTube channel. And then secondly, you're going to need some form of streaming software. Now, it doesn't matter which software you use. You can use Slobs, which is what you see me using right here, Streamlabs OBS, that's free. You can use OBS. You can use whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you feel at ease using when you're streaming. I love Streamlabs OBS, and I have a full tutorial showing you, walking you through how to set up your scenes, how to set up your stream, and I'll link that down below as well. Okay, so we have a YouTube channel, we have our streaming software. Let's go ahead and dive back over to YouTube and see what we need to do. Now, if you are in the old Creator Studio Classic, which you may be um, for a little while longer, I have a video showing you how to live stream from there. I'll link that down below as well. But going forward 2020 and beyond, the new Creator Studio is going to be the one that you're going to be in. This is going to be the one that you're going to use. And so make sure yours looks just like mine does here. Once you are ready to live stream, you've got two ways to start the streaming process. Up in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see create uh, very familiar to you. You go here, you click upload video to upload a video normally. And right below that, there's going to be one that says go live. Now, over here, you've got the three identical icons over here. Uh, basically, go live, upload. So you can hit go live here or create and go live. It really doesn't matter. Now, once you are here, you may see this. To start streaming, allow access to your camera and microphone. Don't do that. Don't worry about that. That will be going directly through YouTube. We definitely don't want to do that. So up here, you're going to see three different tabs, webcam, stream, and manage. Go to stream. This is going to be the one that we want to set everything up with. Now, there are two different types of streams on YouTube. There is a stream now or go live now, and then there is a stream or schedule for later, which they call a YouTube event or a live event. Now, how you, you know, discern between the two is right here where it says schedule for later. If you have that checked there, you will schedule it for an exact time. It really doesn't matter. One just goes live now and the other will be you know, scheduled for a later date. So I'm going to set mine up for go live now just for the purposes of this tutorial. Now, up at the top, it's gonna to look very similar to an actual uploaded video. You will title your stream here to uh, tutorial stream just here. So put your title there. You want it to be public if you want everyone to see it. Uh, and then you can have a private and an unlisted stream as well if you just want to send people the links and only those people will be able to view the stream. Down here below, you're going to see your upload defaults for your videos or your streams. You can edit and change your description here. Change the actual uh, category of the stream like you normally would. And then once you have everything set up kind of the way that you want it, this is where all of the fun takes place. Make sure you let YouTube know if it's going to be directed towards kids or not. Hit yes or no for that and then go to create stream, the blue button at the very bottom. Now, once you've hit the blue button that says create stream, this is where all the magic happens. This is the stream setup help dialog box that you will see to begin with. All of this is basically telling you exactly what I'm telling you now, just showing you how to do it. So basically you're gonna need a stream key. The stream key is going to connect your live stream software, slobs, OBS, Ecamm, whatever software you're using to YouTube. It's going to let YouTube to know what channel to stream on and it's going to connect the two different entities. Now, 
you will also need a stream URL. Most streaming softwares provide that for you, but just in case you need it, you can copy that as well. So the first thing you have to do is copy your stream key. So there's gonna be a bunch of different digits, uh, alphanumeric, both uh, letters and numbers. Go ahead and just click the copy button here within YouTube. It'll copy to your clipboard on your PC and then navigate back over to Streamlabs or OBS, whatever you're using. I then go to settings and then once in settings, I go to stream, which is this option here. Um, and then underneath streaming services here, you have the different services like Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and whatever. So obviously we wanted to select YouTube. Now the primary YouTube ingest server, that's the one that YouTube was trying to provide you earlier. Leave this the same here and then go ahead and hit control or command V to paste your stream key. And then if you really need to match it up, make sure it's the same stream key, hit show and it'll show you, make sure it is the same stream key from YouTube. Now, once that is done, go ahead and click done there. You've already inserted your stream key into Streamlabs OBS. Hop back over to YouTube just to make sure everything's the way you need it to be. Click done on this box here. And this is going to be where you manage your stream. This is going to be the back end of your stream on YouTube. So make sure that all of these things are the way that you want them to be. Now, before you hit go live and you test your stream, there's a couple of things that you need to know. Um, I go ahead and hit the low latency option here. Again, all of this is going to be dependent on your internet signal, the strength of your internet. And we can test that and we're gonna talk about that now. To make sure that your stream is the highest quality possible, okay? Go back over to your streaming software, go to settings and make sure that when you're under stream here and you have a couple of different things under output, that your video bit rate start that at 3,500. If you notice some lag within your stream, lower that number. So the video bit rate is going to be the bit rate for your video. So what this means is, is that the lower this number, okay, that means that your internet signal is probably much weaker. I like to keep mine at 3,500, but if you see some lag, lower the number. And if it's buttery smooth, you may can even raise that number. I like to keep mine at 3,500. That is a sweet spot. That is where I would keep mine if I were you. Audio bit rate anywhere from 250 to 300. I keep mine at 288. Um, again, you can do 256, 320, but 288 is a, is a fairly a streamlined process. Now, make sure that when you've gone through and set up your stream here on your streaming software, that you have your microphone connected with, via your audio interface, via Bluetooth, uh, via USB, whatever it is, because audio is critical just as it is within a uploaded video to YouTube. Now, once all of this is set up within your streaming software, go back over to YouTube, make sure again, everything's the way you want it. And then on your streaming software, hit go live. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit go live now within Streamlabs OBS. Now, this does not mean that you are live on YouTube. There is one more step. When you hit the go live button in your streaming software, that is only sending a preview, okay? Sending a preview to YouTube or wherever you're streaming to. So now if we look here, if we go here, you can see there is a preview box up here in the upper left-hand corner showing me and letting me see and listen to what I, what, I, what I look like and what I sound like, okay? In order to actually go live on YouTube, you must hit the go live button on the YouTube backend like right here. So once I'm back in the YouTube studio, everything looks good, everything sounds good, I then can go ahead and hit go live. But if I go to stream health here, I can see that my stream status is excellent. You want this to be in the green. You don't wanna see yellow or red. You don't wanna see poor quality. You want this to show as excellent. Go to stream health, make sure you're good to go, and then go over to where you see go live. Now, if you ever need to go and edit the settings of a stream, you can click the edit button in the upper right-hand corner. This will allow you to change the thumbnail, enable monetization, and change all of the stuff that we spoke about earlier. So go ahead and close out of that if you don't wanna edit it. Now that we're ready to go, hit the blue go live button, and you will now be going live on the channel. Over here on the right-hand side, you're going to see the chat. Now, this is a very small channel. It's, it's an older channel that I have. I highly doubt anyone will hop in the stream here, but if they did, you would be able to see concurrent viewers, how many people are in the stream, how many likes that stream has. Also, what you can see here is you have a chat box over on the right-hand side. If we click the three buttons there and then we go to pop out chat, you're then gonna be able to pop that chat out here and see if people are chatting within your stream and respond to them from the chat box here. 
You can also hit those three dots and look for participants who are in the chat with you. Who are the people who are there on the stream? Very, very simple. All of this can be done within YouTube. Now, if you want to get even deeper than that, you can also monitor and, and see the chat within uh, specific streaming softwares like Streamlabs OBS or OBS and do it through them. Uh, that's something that I recommend doing. But again, I cover all of that in my overview series of how to use Streamlabs OBS. So I highly recommend you watch that first and then come over here and learn how to stream on YouTube. That would be my advice to you. Now, if you want to see what this looks like here, I will actually go to my channel on YouTube and show you exactly what that looks like. So now, so if I go to my channel on YouTube, you're now going to be able to see here, it says tutorial stream. It's got the red button there live. Now I'll click that button there. And as you can see, here is the live stream. It's looking really nice. I've got the chat over here and I am good to go. So that is how you live stream on YouTube from start to finish. If you have any other questions, please let me know. When you're ready to end the stream, make sure that you hit end stream within YouTube first. Are you sure you want to end your stream? Hit end, the red button there, and you are good to go. It'll say stream is finished. It'll let you know how many people watched your stream. It'll give you a, a little bit of data about the stream, and you are good to go. Now, where do these streams end up once you have completed or finished the stream? Now, if we go to our YouTube studio, the new YouTube studio, so if we go here, once we're at our YouTube studio, under videos here, go to where you see uploads, there is another tab here that says live. Click the live tab here. This is where you'll be able to go back, watch the, the live streams back. You'll be able to publish the live stream for your viewers to watch at a later date if that's something that you want to do, or you can select the streams. I recommend you don't keep them on your channel there's some data that shows it's not good for a YouTube channel. Select those videos. Once you've selected it, go to more actions, go to delete forever, and then delete forever. Normally what I do is I actually change them from public to unlisted. That way only the people who have the links can actually watch them. That way I can always go back and see when I live streamed. It's just a way of me keeping track of kind of what I've done in the past. So that's my opinion. All right, guys, that is how you live stream on YouTube. Again, really appreciate you guys watching the videos. I'll have all the links down in the description of this video, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.